the fluffy condition. The reason humans are around today is because of instincts. Instincts taught us good and evil, right and wrong, what to be scared of. Human instincts have been molded over thousands of years. Every action we take is catered to our survival. Every instinct we have was necessitated by Mother Nature. However, unlike humans, Fluffy Instinct wasn't created by nature or evolution or God. Fluffy Instinct was dictated by underpaid scientists, by the board of directors, the children's toy brand. All fluffy behavior has been designed not for the survival of the fluffy, but for the entertainment of humans. The behavior this foal is exhibiting is called spawn. The instinct to explore or spawn was biologically programmed into fluffies in order to emulate the cute behavior of kittens or puppies. Notice how the mother takes no issue in letting her defenseless baby wander around a grimy, dangerous alleyway. This is because fluffies were never designed to live outside. As such, the mother sees this alleyway the same she would see a house in fact, she is proud that here Bebe is spoiling. This means her Bebe is fulfilling its purpose, that purpose being entertaining her non-existent Mama or Dade. The foal lets out loud, happy chirps, not to alert its Mama, but to alert its supposed human owners. This is due to two reasons. First being that baby foals are meant to be the cutest stage of any fluffy. Secondly, to let the humans know where it is. This helps make sure the baby is being watched around the clock. This was either implanted for the purpose of making sure the baby isn't hurt in its required safe pen or to keep the fluffy in the minds of its human owners so that they'll buy more has buyer products. Despite never seeing a cat in a short life, this Fluffy recognizes one immediately. This is because every Fluffy comes with all the knowledge necessary for a comfortable life at home. Everything from the Mama song to wanting skeddies is instinctual knowledge for Fluffies. However, this information only pertains to a comfortable life with humans and domesticated animals. Fluffies have no idea that everything is a threat, a gaping hole in their survival instincts. Just like the rest of the species, this Fluffy has very limited defensive capabilities. If a Fluffy were to ever be attacked by a toddler or domestic animal, it would say a prefabricated sentence pertaining to the situation, followed by a rapid series of peeps. This is designed first to alert its human owners to their formerly $1,000 bio toy. And secondly, to its mama, so that it could attempt to reason with the aggressor or call for help. Once the cat has finished ravaging its living chew toy, the fluffy is dropped. It begins to cheep loudly. This will immediately alert its mother. The foal voids its bowels in order to attract its mother and owners to its location. Now that the Fluffy's mother has come to its need, the baby no longer has any reason to continue calling. As such, the only thing it can do now is scream in pain. Its mama is instinctually programmed to give huggies and wub to a Fluffy. This is their only knowledge of a potential remedy physical pain since fluffies were only designed to alert their owners in this situation. Their primary goal is to keep their afflicted brethren calm.
until Mama or Dede arrived to make it better. Now that the foal has been rescued by its Mama, his brain tells him that there's no reason to worry anymore, since he will soon receive care from his non-existent human owners. However, it still feels pain. As such, it complains to its Mama. Its Mama is now returning to the nest. It's her instinct to return to the home in order to explain the situation to their owner. Due to the wounds inflicted by the cat, the foal's sensitive skin has split in two. This causes the foal's brain to become overloaded with pain, in the process voiding its bowels and sending the foal into a heart attack seizure. The mama takes no interest in this, because in her mind, her baby will soon receive medical attention. She plops her dying baby down next to its Bwada and Sissy. The only thing its shattered mind can do now is let a high-pitched wails. Its mother doesn't understand. Why isn't anyone coming to help her poor little baby? To her, Huggy should make everything better. She just has to keep hugging her baby until someone comes to help her. The mama waited all night, giving her baby as many huggies as she could. She knew instinctually someone would come to rescue her baby, but no one ever did. She didn't understand why this was happening. Someone was supposed to be here. This fault of her instinct caused her mental state to rapidly deteriorate. She spent the whole night outside the cold with her dead baby. Ultimately, this would lead to the death her whole family.